10 Best Places to Visit in Rwanda Hello Displorers, welcome back to another exciting video presented to you by Displore and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall be taking you to the eastern part of Africa to show you the 10 best places to visit in Rwanda. Rwanda is a landlocked country in East Africa and is one of the smallest countries on the African mainland with its capital city being Kigali. Located a few degrees south of the equator, Rwanda is bordered by Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The climate is temperate to subtropical with two rainy seasons and two dry seasons each year. Rwanda has a population of over 12.3 million, living on 26,338 square meters of land. And therefore, it is the most densely populated country on mainland Africa. Rwanda's developing economy suffered heavily in wake of the 1994 genocide, but has since been strengthened. The economy is based mostly on subsistence agriculture, and coffee and tea are the major cash crops for export, with a nominal GDP of $10.2 billion and nominal GDP per capita of $830, this 12.3 million populated country has English, French, Kinyarwanda, Swahili as official languages and use the Rwandan franc as its official currency. Music and dance are an integral part of Rwandan culture, particularly drums and the highly choreographed indoor dance. To learn more about Rwanda, click on the card on your screen to watch a dedicated video on 10 things you didn't know about Rwanda. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Tourism is a fast-growing sector and is now the country's leading foreign exchange earner. Rwanda is one of only two countries in which mountain gorillas can be visited safely and visitors pay high prices for gorilla tracking permits. But before you go for a tourist visit in Rwanda, here are 10 best places to have in your bucket list as you visit Rwanda. Number 10. Kigali Genocide Memorial It is true that the Kigali Genocide Memorial is not known for its overt beauty. It is a plain modern building surrounded by gardens on marking the site of one of the largest massacres, the Sito Concrete Mass of Graves. However, this is a significant and heart-rending site which should not be missed. The exhibition here is both shocking and thought-provoking and attempts to piece together the causes and events of the three-month genocide which destroyed Rwanda in 1994. Thousands of first-hand accounts are documented and personal film footage and photography is showcased, illustrating the collection of events in a simple and striking way. 99.9% .9 of the Rwandan population was affected by the horrific violence of the genocide. A dark past which makes the present friendliness and goodwill of the country's locals all the more inspiring. The main exhibit whole wraps around poignant sculptures and features stained glass windows that cast a hopeful glow on the space. The museum continues with another permanent exhibit on the history of the genocide around the world and intervention efforts of international communities helping to put Rwanda genocide into context. The museum also includes emotional church children's room dedicated to the youngest victims of the genocide. It keeps their memory alive through oversized portraits of the children, some of whom were just infants when they were killed, and personal details about the victims like their nicknames and favorite books. While it is heartbreaking, visiting the Kigali Genocide Memorial is an important part of being a responsible tourist in Rwanda. Number 9. Kigali After visiting and appreciating the history of Rwanda, let's take a lighter mood with the ninth best place to visit in Rwanda the capital city, Kigali. Many travelers spend only a night in Kigali before gorilla trekking, missing out on the vibrant culture, cuisine, and sightseeing in Rwanda's capital city. To enjoy Kigali, stock up on bespoke clothes from swirling pattern textiles and experience energetic atmosphere at Kigali's largest market, Kimironko Market. The warehouse space is like a maze, with surprises around every corner. Kigali's creative scene at Inema Art Center is a gallery that showcases the works of up to 10 local artists and residents. Make your way to the Rwanda Art Museum at the former Presidential Palace. It displays some of the finest contemporary pieces from Rwanda and nearby regions. You can also see debris from the presidential aircraft that crashed in 1994. Also, the cuisine of Rwanda is summed up at Kigali's kitchens and restaurants with succulent meals and jaw-dropping coffee drinks. Le Panorama restaurant at Hotel de Mil Colleen offers dazzling views of the city, along with even more romantic setting. Head to Fusion Restaurant our fresco dining room at the Retreat Hotel. It overlooks a twinkling pool and serves up homemade pastas, flavorful starters, and fresh seafood. Kigali is definitely a merge of everything in Rwanda from history to contemporary. We have a dedicated video on how Kigali became the cleanest city in Africa. 
click on the card on the right corner to check it out. Number 8. Gorilla Gardens Village The Gorilla Gardens Village is a place for those with great adventure on their mind as it is a prime spot to immerse you in random culture at Gorilla Gardens Village. Run by reformed poachers, the non-profit cultural village gives tourists the chance to try their hand at Rwanda's most famous craft and activities. You'll learn how to carry a basket on your head like the Rwandan women do. With your own basket, shoot an arrow and grind grains with a heavy stone. The enthusiastic guides make the entire experience feel like a big party. It's worth sticking around for the intro dance recitals at Gorilla Guardians Village. The traditional dancers, decked out with long straw wigs and skirts, put on an exciting show to the beat of rhythmic drumming. The beauty of the Gorilla's Guardian Village is the fact that you participate in all activities, which makes it hard for you to live on your own. Number 7. Nyungwe Forest Found at Nyungwe Forest National Park, southwest of Rwanda, it is a diversified flora and fauna with over 200 species of birds in the area. It may sound unexpected, but Rwanda is home to one of Africa's last remaining high-altitude tropical rainforests situated in Nyungwe Forest National Park. It is one of the most biodiverse forests in the world and is home to more than 1,080 plant species as well as 250 Albertine Rift endemic bird types, an attraction which brings in bird watchers from all over the globe. Any trip here must include a high canopy walk where visitors can take to the treetops to view the forest in its full majesty. The park is supported by both US aid and a global development company named DAI, with the overall aim being to make Nungwe a viable ecotourist destination where resources are reinvested into the local community and a sustainable income source is created for regional natives. Number 6. Lake Kivu It is a freshwater lake in Rwanda. The length of the Lake Kivu is 89 kilometers and the width is 48 kilometers. It has been found that there is a lot of biogas present in Lake Kivu in its depths. The 2,700 square kilometer emerald green oasis is surrounded by misty mountains and it has the world's 10th largest island in it. Sokito from Rubavu, a resort town on the northern tip of Lake Kivu. It has a lively waterfront, sandy beach, and stunning resorts including the Lake Kivu Serena Hotel. Get even closer to the landscape with Kingfisher Journeys. The tour operator can arrange a stunning sunset kayak trip with singing fishermen on Lake Kivu, as well as multi-day paddling adventures that will leave you in awe of all the glory of the lake. Number 5. Akagero National Park Land of water, land of grass, and the land of fire is the literal translation of Akagero National Park. It is located between Rwanda and the border of Tanzania towards the east direction. Replicating scenes like those seen in The Lion King, the breathtaking Akagero National Park is home to some of the most impressive animals on the planet, including elephants, zebras, buffaloes, baboons, leopards, and hyenas, creatures who have found a home here amongst the stunning savannas, dramatic mountains, green grasslands, and tree-fringed lakes. Managed by the African Parks Organization, the 1,140 square kilometer expanse is one of Central Africa's largest protected wetlands. They can boast of all the big five animals, along with abundance of birds and antelope. The park is still working on including lions and rhinos, but there are a lot of zebras, hippos, now crocodiles, elephants, and giraffes on a self-drive safari. Number 4. King's Palace Museum Found at the Nyanza Road in the Nyanza District, South Province, it is one of Rwanda's most historic museums. If the country's impassioned conservation efforts don't convince you that Rwandans have a reverence for animals, a visit to the King's Palace Museum certainly will. The star attraction at the museum, which is one of Rwanda's eight national museums, is the Inyambo sacred cows and their staggeringly large horns. Throughout the day, traditional singers lure the cows into a mellow state by belting poems, a ritual that is unique to Rwanda. The museum itself is just as interesting as the four-legged beast found there. It showcases a replica of a king's palace from the 15th century with a thatched roof, royal herd, and fresh milk herd traditionally run by an unmarried man. Tourists can also explore the colonial-style home that was once the royal residence of King Mutara III, Ruda Hingwa, in the mid-20th century. The interior design is particularly striking, blending Rwandan patterns with European-style furniture. Number 3. Ethnographic Museum 
Located about 130 kilometers south of Kigali in the district of Hui at Butare, and formerly known as the National Museum of Rwanda, changed as per the modern times to be called the Ethnographic Museum, it was started in the year 1989. It is said that the Belgians were helpful in making this museum, especially the Belgian government. Belgium gifted the museum to the city in 1989 in honor of the 25th anniversary of Rwandan's independence. The Ethnographic Museum's seven galleries take tourists back in time to pre-colonial Rwanda. You'll see an impressive collection of woven baskets, traditional garments made from animal hides and woven grass, spears and bows, musical drums from hundreds of years ago, and old farming tools. Tourists can step inside an authentic royal home and learn how it was constructed as the museum also hosts live handicraft demonstrations. Number 2. Mount Bisoke Situated in one of the country's more scenic areas, Mount Bisoke, an active volcano on the border with the Democratic Republic of Congo, is a must-see for anyone looking to explore the beauty of Rwanda's provincial areas. A return trek up to Bisoke will take you about 6 or 7 hours and the pilgrimage is well worth it, even if it is a little steep at times. The ascent involves traversing up the southwestern flank of the volcano to the summit where splendid vistas of the crater lake can be enjoyed. During the descent, visitors can follow a track where wonderful views of the Parc National de Virungas can be seen. Number 1. Volcanoes National Park Without a doubt, the number one place to visit in Rwanda is Volcanoes National Park. Sharing a border with Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo, this national park in Rwanda is home to a growing number of critically endangered mountain gorillas. Experts estimate that there are about 600 gorillas in the park, a significant increase from around 240 to 250 in 1981. To visit one of the 18 mountain gorilla families that have been habituated to humans, you will need to obtain one of the limited numbers of daily trekking permits for $1,500. The easiest way to do this is through a reputable tour operator who can also arrange transportation from Kigali to the park headquarters. The trekking experience typically lasts between 4 and 8 hours, most of which is spent hiking through mystical bamboo forests, wild meadows, and swampy areas. Guides from the National Park Service will eventually lead you to one of the habituated gorilla families. You will spend an hour observing the creatures as they eat, care for their babies, and interact with one another. There you have it, the explorers. Those were the top 10 best places to visit in Rwanda. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave a suggestion in the comment section and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.